okay hello friends welcome to my channel in this azure devops tutorial series today let's discuss about templates in azure pipelines all right so there are two types of templates one is includes template and another one is exclude template in this video we'll specifically focus only on includes uh, we'll cover a, a separate video for exclude template all right so what is a template in azure pipeline so we saw a glimpse about what is template in our previous video but here we'll dig in little deeper to understand definition when and why to use it and how do we use it in real time and all all right so template lets you define reusable content logic and parameters in yaml pipeline so uh, consider you have a step that is repeated across your uh, yaml scripts you know very frequently in those kind of situation what you can do is instead of repeating those steps multiple times you can create a template and reuse it whenever you need it all right so that so that you know it is uh, it can be easily maintained and the reusability is much more promoted in your yaml code all right so it can help you speed up the development so when you uh, when you try to reuse something that is existing in your code obviously it is going to help you in speeding up the development for example say you you have a series of same tasks in a template and then include a template multiple times in different stages of your yaml pipeline right so as i said if you uh, if, if there if there are a series of uh, similar tasks that is used across your yaml code then you can you create a template and then use that template in your original pipeline all right and uh, templates can also help you secure your pipeline all right so when a template controls what is allowed in a pipeline the template defines the logic that another file must follow all right so uh, so what happens is it also helps you in securing your pipeline because the control is actually in a different pipeline so what you can do is you can actually uh, restrict people to uh, use a different pipeline like uh, you can you can restrict people to uh, use some specific or uh, secured kind of information so when you specify a secured kind of information in a template which you do not want anyone to see those kind of uh, situations you can promote uh, uh, the security in your yaml pipeline all right so for example you may want to restrict what tasks are allowed to run okay for that scenario you can use templates to prevent someone from successfully running a task that vi violates your organization security policies all right so this is all about an introduction to templates in azure pipelines uh, there are two types of templates one is includes and another one is extends template and so uh, includes template it lets you insert reusable content within a template right so if a template is used to uh, include content it functions like an include directive in many programming language like uh, content from one file is insert into another file do not worry we'll see an example to make it make you understand it better all right the next one is extends template uh, sorry for that i said excludes in my introduction it is actually extends uh, so uh, uh, we'll we'll cover it as a separate video and uh, try to explain it in detail for now we'll just focus only on includes template right so uh, when you want to understand how to insert a template all you need to do is you can copy content from one yaml and reuse it in a different yaml okay so say you have a repeatable steps in a yaml file you can copy that step and put it into a different yaml and create a template all right so copying content from one yaml to another saves you from having to manually include the same logic in multiple places all right so you can divide these templates into one of these four categories so one is stage job step variable okay so in our um, introduction to azure pipelines we would have seen a glance about what all these are like what is a stage what is a job step variable and all right so um, you, know, you can reuse the template at a different levels like for example you can use it at a stage level you can use it at a job level you can use it you reuse at a step level and also at a variable level okay in this uh, exam in this video let's see an example about how to uh, reuse the steps all right so stages jobs variables are little uh, you know difficult to understand not very difficult but you know steps makes you understand uh, for a beginner you know starting with steps will make you understand very clearly do not worry going forward we'll go into uh, little complex problems and try to see 
how uh, stages, how uh, jobs, variables and all will work in Azure Pipelines, all right. So let me jump on to my pipelines. So project online DevOps demo, let me go into edit mode, say, <coughs> so this is the code that I have in the YAML pipeline. Okay, now, now for better understanding and simplicity for beginners, now I do not have any complex code here. All I'm doing is putting in very basic level of code to make you understand the concepts alone. Okay, so if you want to try out some real time examples, you can definitely try out and let me know for any queries. But for now, in the interest for beginners, I'm just keeping it very simple. Okay, so you can see, uh, and I have a steps here. So uh, we have a couple of scripts here. Say I am running a compare to list.python file and add to list.python file. Okay, so these two are the uh, scripts that I am I want to run multiple times in my uh, uh, YAML code. Assume that, okay. But in real time, you know, this is not an idealistic scenario in real time. In real time, say for example, if you wanna perform an installation steps on different OS environment, or you wanna perform a configuration on different environment. Uh, like instead of doing it uh, instead of configuring it in the yaml multiple times all you can do is you can create a template and uh, reuse it in your original yaml pipeline right but those those steps might take some time so i'm just keeping a very basic example here assume okay just assume that uh, you wanna run this scripts multiple times in your steps for now uh, we are just using it one times but assume that you wanna use this uh, script multiple times in your yaml code so what you can do is you can just simply copy this you can simply copy this step let me duplicate this tab right. um, go to pipelines you create a new pipeline you can create existing azure pipelines yaml file you can create All you need to do is just replace that okay just replace that steps in a new file okay. we can rename it like let's call it as templates and <coughs> just save it now if you go to your actual original pipeline let me go into edit mode so instead of using this steps what you can do is you can use a template let me draw this one is template mm -hmm. Why is this template not showing? Um, let me what is the mistake I'm doing? Let me give me a moment. I'll try to figure it out. Steps and there are no templates here. I'm doing so I think I need to use an iPhone to get the template uh, templates let me we oh, are not getting it maybe some mistake let me a moment we can yeah sorry for the unwanted pass like I did not give the intention correctly to get my template keyword template and you can use your Azure pipelines template all right so now you can see if you want to validate your YAML just validate yeah your validation is okay so all right so all you need to do is create a new template file and reuse the template file inside your step in your original pipeline okay so now let me save this once I save this, 
now you can go to your pipeline you now you can see both your pipelines started running okay so demo one is my original pipeline demo is my second pipeline that is the template file uh, pipeline so now it is uh, running so it might take a while to run yeah my, now my first original pipeline ran successfully and next i'm just waiting for my template file to run all right so this way yeah now it is successful both my pipelines ran successfully all right so this way what you can do is you can easily create a template and reuse it across your multiple you reuse it across multiple stages or steps in your pipeline all right so do not forget for now we just saw this example only at a step level we just saw it at a step level only right where else we can reuse it at stage level job level and variable level too we'll see all these examples uh, in future but for now just to keep it very simple and make you understand this concept i have just taken a step which is more than enough for you to understand how the include template work all right so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you